Hello, and welcome to the Virtual Field Trips training video for the Mary F. English program, part of our module series on Exploring Earth. A virtual field trip is a guided tour that takes place entirely in a virtual setting, allowing the viewer to explore different locations from in front of a computer screen. In an educational setting, a virtual field trip will allow the instructor the opportunity to take their students on a trip far away without having to leave the classroom. This is a great way to show students locations that they normally wouldn't get a chance to see. To make our virtual field trip, we're going to use Google Earth. To get Google Earth, simply go to earth.google.com, choose if you want the standard or the pro version, then download the product for your machine and install it. Google Earth is a detailed map of the world made out of satellite images. You can use it to see different areas of the world and, in many places, 3D models of what that area looks like. The controls are easy to use. The hand will control what direction you move in. The eye will control the current tilt of your view. The ring around the eye rotates the camera, and the plus and minus icons zoom in and out. On the left are three sections. The search section, located at the top, allows you to enter any location and be instantly taken there. The Places section allows you to save and view certain locations. And the Layers section controls what the map is currently displaying. You can turn off various elements, including the water, roads, and even the 3D buildings, by unchecking them in the Layers section. By dragging the icon of the man onto the road, you can enter Street View. This is a fully visible picture allowing you to directly see different areas of the world. You can switch between the street view and ground level view at any time to instead see the 3D models that Google has created. Google Earth is an excellent way to create a virtual tour or field trip of an area. To begin with, we need to create a folder under the Places tab. I'm just going to call mine Virtual Field Trip, but you can call yours whatever you would like. Then we'll want to find the locations we want to add to our tour. I really like the Colosseum, so I'm going to go there. When adding a location, it is important that you get a pleasing angle, as that is going to be how our tour orients itself when you create it. There we go, and that looks pretty cool. Once you've got a good angle, press the Place Mark button to mark the location. You'll have the option to name and describe the place mark, and add in links or images. If you prefer to not see any text for the place mark, you can turn the opacity of the label and icon to 0%. This will make the place mark fully invisible. You can put in as many place marks as you want. I made place marks for many areas of Rome, including the Sistine Chapel, the Roman Forum, and St. Peter's Basilica. There are a few other things you can add to your tour, but the only other one I want to cover in this video are paths. You can add a path by pressing the Path button and then drawing the path you would like to add. So, I might add a path in my tour of Rome to walk around the Colosseum. I can then tell my tour to take me on that path when I get to that stop by selecting the Fly Along Paths option in the Tools Tour Options dialog box. You can also edit the camera's tilt angle, the camera's range, and the camera's speed when going along a line from this dialog box. Once you've got your stops added, it's time to create your tour. 
To do this, simply click at the top of the folder and press the Create Tour button. Google Earth will automatically begin your tour and you'll get to watch it unfold. As the tour progresses, you can pause it at any time to look at different areas of the map or show other links. When you're ready, simply press the play button to continue your tour right from where you left off. If you like your tour, you can hit the Save button located on the Tour Controls to automatically save it into your folder. To replay it for the class, all you have to do is select your video from the folder. There are several locations in Google Earth where going into Street View will actually allow you to walk around the inside and see what it looks like. This includes the White House, the Eiffel Tower, the Nasir al mulk Mosque, and several other really exciting locations. Virtual tours are a powerful tool that will allow students to see an area that they might not ever get the chance to. You could show them different cities, countries, areas, or anything else that you can think of. This concludes our tutorial on Google Earth and virtual field trips. I hope you've enjoyed this video and will consider using virtual field trips to teach about history and geography. Thank you!